Shaker. 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 This is Shaker. As our friend Gayatri was pestering me and torturing me about some Splunk roadmaps, here is the Splunk learning roadmap for the newbies. Okay, let me give you some history. Initially, it was around 2013, 14, or 15, somewhere around. 8 9 years ago Splunk had only three certifications <clears throat> core user power user admin architect they called architect or consultant something and then there was a developer certification so initially there were only five certifications as i said that was history right now i mean last year they included one new certifications, uh, defense analyst, something we will see about that. So currently, as of 2024, these are all the certification, and this is what we should call as a Splunk roadmap, Splunk learning roadmap. So when you start first time for the Splunk certification, you should be preparing for the Splunk core certified user, core certified user. That is the name they have given problem initially it will it, just as per my as my assumption that it may take like a one month or two months time for a normal user and then you you have to proceed for the core certified power user then the third certification is core certified advanced power user fourth certification okay first three certification we can assume like uh, four months or uh, one quarter or uh, let's say six months timeline like that approximately then the fourth certification is cloud certified admin cloud certified admin that is what the fourth certification they provide as Splunk provides uh, this is particularly focused for the Splunk Cloud customers. If you are using Splunk Enterprise or uh, if you are focusing on the enterprise side, it is all. It is also good to know something more about the cloud because you may receive projects in Splunk on premise or Splunk Cloud as well. So when you move to the next one, Splunk Enterprise Certified Admin. So that is the fifth level certification then we, we have the architect certification my assumption my assumption for becoming architect would take for a regular for a for a newbie like a, if you have some development background or something you can become an architect within two years or three years some users can finish faster as well so this all depends on the newbies learning capability and then there are some other certifications you can see that course certified consultant enterprise security certified admin this is particularly maybe our guys may be already aware of that enterprise security is a premium solution and this certification is mainly focused on that yes enterprise security admin certification itsi itsi is another certificate another premium solution IT service intelligence IT service intelligence is, is what the name name of that particular certification and then moving to the next one SOAR orchestration SOAR is another important platform to give you some background 2018 Splunk acquired the phantom phantom uh, software phantom is a orchestration tool in 2018 that is around six six years ago Splunk acquired that tool and added that orchestration to the Splunk platform this certification mainly aims for that one focus this certification focus for that orchestration uh, platform and the particular tool one more one more thing to note down orchestration is given as on-premise as well as on cloud so both versions are available uh, you, our our users are ready uh, our users should check the splunk documentation for that one 
and then observability Ob observability is another important uh, <clears throat> concept uh, really becoming very famous in the last few years observability is like a uh, streams and uh, how we can observe one particular system that is what uh, maybe we i maybe i will give more information about the observability in the in our upcoming videos last year last year exactly august september splunk splunk uh, created this certification called uh, cyber security defense analyst this certification particularly last year uh, august they gave splunk given this certification as a free certification for one month period one or two months period i wrote that certification and i actually failed on that one maybe i should prepare a little more and uh, then I, I should write this certification so hope this guy hope this video gives given you some more ideas so if you ask totally how many certifications are then the count is available here 12 certifications are there on the splunk you don't need to finish splunk newbies no need to finish all the things or anything if you want to become a splunk architect or splunk consultant or splunk pre-sales person then you should try to complete as many as certifications possible minimum i would suggest first uh, till splunk admin till splunk admin certification i would suggest you guys our, our dear readers to work on this and uh, prepare for the when you are preparing for the splunk uh, this this document is just uh, taken from the splunk documentation and i will give the link on the description and and also on the first command maybe if you guys are still interested to get this excel file or uh, excel file i am ready to share that also with you guys maybe you should guys you you should comment and share and join the join our, join our newbies uh, the youtube channel also hope this video gives given some ideas to you guys on the splunk learning so hereafter i think uh, there will be no questions on the roadmap or how to start where where to start when to start which certifications should i concentrate on so this hope hope the splunk newbies got some ideas on this on this video through this video Thank you guys. Catch you on the later next video. Have a great day. Bye.